So uh, we didn't have much luck uh, this morning because it was so windy, but we're gonna do some camping and uh, I'm gonna try, even though it's still pretty windy, I'm gonna try to go out and see if I can uh, roost some birds so we know where they are. Uh, and we're gonna set up some camp. We're gonna have, do some camping and just kind of have fun with it. Not expect too much. It's gonna be kind of cold tonight, so it'll be rough camping, but I think that they'll they'll definitely remember this, I think. You wanna gather up some of these for uh, to start the fire? I love these. Like whenever you, like, oh wow. It's instant fluff. You gather up some of this from the cactus, or the, from the cattails too. It's pretty dry. Hey, and you want to go gather up some of these, uh, the stuff here, and maybe some smaller sticks. Yeah. This is cute. I'm Get twigs yay size. You breaking them off of there. <clears throat> really, we're not at the point where we can goof off too much. Last night was pretty rough, wasn't it? <laughs> Did you get cold? Yeah, and you're like sm smushing me in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, Nick, I was trying to get my feet in the covers and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for somebody to snuggle with. I was getting cold. <laughs> Weston, did you get cold? He's not in here? No. <laughs> Where's he at? I don't know. He's probably going to the bathroom. Last night was pretty rough. Uh, 32 degrees. I've been up real early this morning. There's been a bunch of hoot owl calls, and I haven't heard any gobblers go off after them. But we'll, uh,. We'll still walk around, see if we can get closer, walk to some different parts of the property and see if we can get anything. Uh, and if we do hear something, we'll set up in the vicinity the best we can. Oh, and there was coyotes. Yeah, there was lots of coyotes. No. That, that went on all night. <laughs> yeah. And they were really close too, huh? Yeah, but the frog thing stopped. Frogs? Yeah. The frogs got too cold. <laughs> <laughs> and then the coyotes came out. <laughs> There's definitely a couple over that way, but they are a ways off. And you say you heard some over there? Yeah. Whenever you did the owl call. Alright, let's be quiet for just a few minutes. Let's just sit here and listen. Yeah. So we can only get so close because of the property line, you know, but we can at least set up in that field, see if we can call them across the road. Let's, uh, I'm gonna do this one more time, all right? All right, listen, try to stay quiet afterwards, okay? I'm not even gonna bother. There's several over there. Let's just go sit up over there. You heard him, Layla? In the car. Go yeah. yeah, you know that field that runs along the road? We'll go set up over there and we'll put our decoys out and we'll just hope for the best, see if we can call them over here. It's a, it's a ways to come for them to call, but they might come. You never know. That might be my first turkey. Alright, I need to get this up and start calling. I don't think they flow down from the roost yet.
Hi, Layla. Is this at the right height for you, sweetie? A lot of times when it gets real cold like this, they, uh, <clears throat> they'll they gobble a little from the roost and then they'll, once they come down, they really don't gobble much. But that doesn't mean they're not coming in. So this morning we did hear more gobbling. I don't know if it was because there was birds that were actually gobbling or if we just, if we could, would you hear them? Because yesterday we couldn't hear anything. We couldn't, we couldn't hear ourselves, you know, even talking to each other in the blind. It was crazy windy. So at least we heard something this morning, but we called and called. And uh, we went as long as we could before the kids were just hungry and cold and ready to come back and get some food, some breakfast burritos and and get stuff going around here, get warmed up around the fire. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, some coffee sounds real good right now. Wait, why does it have like a dander sound? It's called Death Wish Coffee, that's just their logo, I guess. But it's not actually really that sun. It says the world's strongest coffee right here. Warning. It's got a warning label on it. It's highly caffeinated. Yeah, I gotta see that. So we can't have it? Holy crap! Yeah, I'm not... We're not gonna be able to eat that. Eat it. How do we eat it? Well, definitely not going to be able to eat it. Not even dead. you pour hot water in that? Yeah. All right, I'll get you some. I mean, you could just use cold water and then heat it up. Either way. Did that come with that? Yeah. Well, yeah. we're not going to eat that, right? No, this is my coffee. Do you want some coffee? Can I... Can I dump it? Yeah, you want to dump it in there? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Now we just let her brew. How long is it? Um, I don't know. It takes like a few minutes. You want me to keep pushing up and down? No, you just let it sit. Okay. Ooh, there's a cock. What all the used forks in that storage? You know the plan. It is strong. How many times have you had coffee? Not very much. <laughs> Two times. This is your second time? You don't like that kind of coffee? Mm -mm. I think I only like it with cream. Yeah, you just like the cream, huh? That tastes so bad. How do you drink that? Well, honestly, it's not very good. <laughs> but <laughs> it does the trick. It's like beans and everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Bean campfire dust. coffee. <laughs> you want to try a swig? Uh, you like it? Yeah. I'm gonna go keep it in my mouth because I'm nervous. What is it, the beans? Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Mm. Gotta get it. 
I just drank it and spit it out, so. I kind of like this coffee better than others. Something about brewing coffee over a campfire makes it taste a little better, even when it's not. Actually, to be honest, it's pretty terrible coffee, but it's it's what I need right now. Why don't you put in cream on it? Why don't you put in cream on it? I don't drink cream or my coffee. Isn't that wild? No. <laughs> I would literally drink a whole can of cream in two seconds. <laughs> but we don't have any cream. Guys, so all in all, youth, youth turkey season closes in a few hours. Kids have kind of had it. They're just kind of wore out and camping. You know, they had a lot of fun, but uh, they got cold. They got worn out. They probably didn't get as much sleep as they normally do. And, uh, you know, waking up real early two days in a row kind of put a toll on them. So we're going to wrap it up and uh, we're going to call it. So we ended up hearing lots of birds. Didn't actually see any birds. Um, but you know what? All in all, they had a really good time. I think they grew as hunters. I think they grew as like outdoors men and outdoors women. Um, they learned a lot just being in camp and me losing my patience and yelling at them and and them yelling at each other and just uh you know it's all learning experience and i think you know when i asked them if they'd ever want to do this again they all said yes so i mean that's kind of a win in and itself so i really enjoyed the weekend with my kids uh three of the kids anyway and uh you know we didn't get a bird we didn't even see a bird it wasn't that exciting as far as hunting goes but it was a good reason to get outside and a good reason to do stuff and for that it's worth it.